Hi everyone, this video is to show you how to design a WR62 horn antenna with the frequency range is like 12.4 to 18 gigahertz. Okay, and with gain is 10 dB. Okay, polarization is linear. And I'm going to show you the design, how to design it, and the result of the S parameter and the gain over the frequency and the VSWR. Okay, and the uh, radiation pattern. Okay, for cutting shirt like this. Okay, so let's go to CST. You go, I'm going to show you how to design this and to get the S parameter result and the VSWR. Okay, and you also can check on the Smith chart. It's near to 50 ohm from the whole frequency range of 12.4 to 18. And you can check on the broadband far field as well. So you can check on the efficiency. It's almost like 98% for total efficiency. And the gain is 13.37 dB. And the gain for the whole frequency range is around like 11 point something to 4, near to 15 at 18 gigahertz. So you can see the graph is almost similar as the data sheet here. Yeah, it's going up when the frequency is increasing. Okay, so how to design this? We just follow the dimension in the in the data sheet. Then we can design for this. Okay, first you just go to click on new project, new template here, and microwave and choose antenna next click on the horn waveguide time and here you can choose is in nm then next so your our frequency will be like 12 to 18 and we don't click on the monitor first we check on the s11 if okay then we only check on the monitor for the far field and the e field okay Okay, so now we have the template project here and we're going to design. How are we going to know our dimension? So our dimension, we go and follow from the data sheet here. Okay, so first we're going to design the waveguide in the middle here. It's like this one. So from the waveguide, we will have something like here. It's the sort here. Okay, so this one is the power. So it's like 7.899 and 1.5799. Okay. So we send the width, this one is the length. Okay, so we're going to uh waveguide. Seven point eight nine nine and here will be like fifteen. Point seven nine nine. Alright, so the, the Z, the length will be. Okay, so the length we're going to try from here. We follow this design, the output here. So it's 27. Okay, 27. Preview. Okay, so we're going to have something like this. Okay, or we can change it here. Alright, so we will have something like this now with the waveguide. So we click on, we choose PEC is fine. Click OK. Now we have this design. And we're going to extrude the horn here. The front horn here. So we can know the length is like, total is like 87. 27 here, we minus, we get like 60. And uh, this one is the height. And here is the dimension, is like 32 for the... Let's say here is the length and 27.5 is the width. Okay, so we're going to do something like this. It's like choose on pick face, click on the surface here, extrude. Then the, this one, let's say, is the horn. And the height is 50 mm. And the tapper will be 
we can adjust it until we get the dimension that we want from here 32 and 23.5 so let's say let's say i choose like 25 okay this is big but it's okay we can adjust later we click on ok then we can check on the dimension 63.8 and here we slide 17.1 okay so this is not the size that we want we can choose again not, not this waveguide is the horn that's true then we can like define uh, we can choose like maybe 15 then click on ok ok this one will become smaller so it's 40 and 47 all right so we can edit again maybe it's around like 10 okay so we can click on the dimension 29 and 36 okay still okay so it's nearby it's like 29 here is 36 so we need to become uh the line the angle need to change a bit maybe eight okay become smaller so we have 32.6 now and here is 24.7 so it's nearby so it's fine so now we have the horn something like this looks light slightly okay then we're going to make it hollow in the middle as the horn looks like hollow here okay hollow inside so we're going to change choose the pick face here you can click on the pick face here choose this side and the front side here and click on the shape tools okay before you you can't select this because you haven't add together so we're going to add both of these together we're going to click on the horn and click boolean add the waveguide then click enter okay now they are combined together is one object so we choose the pick face again behind here and the front when we click on the shape tools here you can see it's still not available but you just click on the horn and choose shape tools and shield solid and the thickness sheet so you click on here the you need to choose is outside why that means it's like this is the dimension that you want but you have extra thickness something like here so you can view from here you can see you have a thickness here okay so you're going to design the thickness something like yeah here so we make it like maybe 3 mm or 1 mm is fine so let's say we made it like 1 mm okay so we have thickness at 1 mm now so we click ok okay so we have something like this okay and the dimension inside still the same 24.7 and here is 32.6 important is the dimension here waveguide is 7.899 and the length here is 15.799 so it's follow the dimension here the waveguide here okay so 7.899 and 15.799 okay next we want to put the waveguide port so we choose the big face here the width and another click on s you can get this simulation and waveguide port so just click on ok so you have your port now and just start for simulate okay so to make it faster to for simulation you can just choose like 40 is fine or okay and then the boundary you can choose like Okay, because of the boundary is symmetry so you can choose like magnetic here and electric okay so it may it simulate faster the result will be the same so we just click on simulate then click start okay wait for a while until we get the s parameter result okay so once the simulation is done then you click on your 1d check on your s parameter so it's below 
10 dB and you can check on your speed chart as well it's near to 50 ohm here and check on your VSWR is below 1.2 1.8 is good that means you can check from here the data sheet the S parameter is yeah almost like 1.1 1 .1 as well okay so it now it's like below 1.0 below 1.18 okay and you can check for the far view but we haven't simulated so let's the result now is okay let's check on the far view so we just go to simulation view monitor click on the far view and we click on broadband apply then you can see here it's like far view now broadband so for the if view we're going to choose a uh, single frequency it's like 15 the center frequency we click on OK. Then it appear here. Now it's going to simulate for far field and if if field. So start again. Wait for a while until it finish. Then we have the two D result and the far field result. Okay. So once done the simulation and then. 2D, we can view on the E view, click on the horn here, then you can check on contour, and then you can play around like view plan here, then you play animate. Okay, so you can see well because it's cut half, but it's not in the center. Okay, we can make it like, yeah, somewhere here. Okay. Okay, and then you can click on DB. Okay, so you can see how the wave is moving inside the horn antenna. Okay, so this one is E view. So stop for animation, and then we go for far view here, broadband. Then we can check for our horn. So we can go for the far view plot, gain, linear, scale. You can check on the efficiency. Then we can run it because it's broadband. So we can run it like 12 to 18 gigahertz. So wait for a while. So they will start run, running. Okay, so now you can see it's like they're moving like 12 to 18. And the efficiency is also still like 98%. Okay, for the total efficiency. And again, we can see on dB, in dB. Oops. Okay, in dB is like the oh, more than ten dB. The gain is more than ten dB. Okay, so once we stop, we want to check on the whole graph. So we're going to go for post processing here, and click on result template. Choose far view here. Okay, add far view result. Remember to choose broadband. Okay, because you want to view like over the whole frequency range, choose over the frequency range, all setting. Broadband, the gain. Okay, if you want to check on directivity, you can choose on directivity, but the gain. So, okay. Then you click on evaluate. Then the table here will have the result for gain, gain over the frequency. Okay, now we have the gain over frequency result. So you can see the result is increasing according to the frequency when you increase the frequency. So from here, you can view is almost the same. Okay, until 18. So we can say our horn for this design is guaranteed more than 11 dB, okay, for the whole frequency range. Okay, once you've done this, that's all for how to design your horn antenna for 12 to 18 gig cool band and how to check your far field result and your gain okay and here's your VSWR and your S parameter for dB okay and the last part how we're going to check on here the radiation pattern for cutting channel, something like this, to display in your data sheet. So first, you're going to go to your CST here, 
five u. Let's say you choose for one of the frequency range. That means let's say I click on properties. Let's say I choose on fifteen. Apply. So I have this now, and then we go for the one D plot here. Now we have our one D plot for fifteen giga. So this one is a direction, right? So you can click on like TV, linear or TV. Okay. Then you can choose for like theta of five. Okay. So we, we will choose for theta. Okay, because it's directional. And then after that, we how we going to plot for something like this? Negative 18, 180 to 180 degree. Okay, so we just click on plot, apply. Before you apply, you also can choose for like Cartesian. You can just apply. When you apply, you only have like zero until one hundred eighty. So, but you're going to have like negative one hundred eighty to one hundred eighty. You can tick on this, apply. You have zero until three hundred sixty. Here, zero until three hundred sixty. But what we want is negative one hundred to one hundred eighty. So we just apply. So you have something like this. This looks a uh, for your data sheet here. Okay, then you can plot for your three dB. What is the angle? And which of the frequency. So if you change another frequency, just change it like 17. Then just apply. Then you have another result for your for few gain over the angle. Okay, so if you want to check like negative 180 to 180 only, you can double click on here, click on plot properties. Auto range, you can choose like 180 to 180. Apply, then OK. So you will have exactly same as the data sheet now. So that's all for your how to design your horn antenna for cool band. Thank you.